Over the last few years, there have been a lot of incredible innovations in the world of space travel, and it appears that there is yet another advancement, because Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket is ready to fly people. That's right, the rocket capsule that Blue Origin has been working so hard to build is now ready to hit the skies. In today's video, we'll be checking out what the new Shepard is for people who aren't in the know, we'll be speculating on what the flight of the Shepard could mean for space exploration, and we'll be seeing what all this means for the future of our species. So, where do we start? Ordinarily, we'd have started at the beginning, but that would take a lot of time, so we're just going to get you up to speed. Back in January, Blue Origin completed the 14th test flight of its new Shepard rocket booster and capsule. The flight capsule was called the NS-14 and was one of the last rockets to be tested before Blue Origin declared the new Shepard fit to fly. The new Shepard has been in development for years, so this was pretty big news for space enthusiasts and Blue Origin. In late April, the company finally founded up preparations and decided that the new Shepard was ready to fly. Before we go on, what's the new Shepard and why is it so important? The New Shepard before we can truly appreciate what it means for the New Shepard to be ready to take people to space, it's important to check out the spacecraft itself. What is the New Shepard and why was it built? To put it very simply, the New Shepard is a reusable rocket capsule duo that Blue Origin has developed to take people to space. But the ship won't just be taking people to space, it will also be taking scientific equipment to suborbital space. It's a six-pass ever capsule and it has flown 15 uncrewed test missions. The New Shepard was developed by Blue Origin for space tourism. The rocket was built by Blue Origin to take people to suborbital space. Unlike orbital space, suborbital crafts don't have to be too fast. The rockets will be about 60 feet, and it will be able to reach an altitude of about 307,000 feet, about 93,573 meters. A suborbital spacecraft only needs to go about 6,000 km per hour when leaving Earth, while an orbital craft has to travel 28,000 km per hour, which is three times the speed of a suborbital craft. Now, this isn't to say that building the new Shepard was easy, since it's a lot less faster than orbital crafts. Despite what anyone thinks, the new Shepard is still a spacecraft, and even the simplest is a lot more complex to build than a Boeing 737, for example. When the New Shepard reaches the top of its flight arc, its engines will cut off and it will fall back to Earth, while at the summit of their arc, passengers will achieve a few minutes of weightlessness, and that's precisely the feeling that many passengers will be paying for. Now that the New Shepard is ready, the company is ready to start selling tickets to space. That's right, you can now actually purchase a seat on the New Shepard and go to space. Of course, you won't be landing on any planets, and you certainly won't be going too far away from Earth, but you'll be entering a zero-gravity environment, and you will be as far away from our planet as you have ever been. How do we know that Blue Origin is prepared to take people to space on the New Shepard? Well, the answer is pretty simple. They announced it themselves. A few days ago, the company had this to say on Twitter. It's time. You can buy the very first seat on hashtag New Shepherd. Sign up to learn how at blueorigin.com. Details coming May 5th. Before we go to the last segment, we've got a super freaky fact for you. And we've got a wager to boot. If you knew this fact we're telling you about before, do nothing. But if you didn't, you'd have to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Deal? Deal. Did you know that a complete spacesuit from NASA costs about $12 million? Every time you look at the stars to admire it, remember that you cannot get there and live there without a $12 million spacesuit. How much will a seat cost? 
We don't yet know how much a seat will cost, but it can't be extremely expensive. However, we can guess it can't be more expensive than a seat aboard Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2, New Shepard's main competitor. It looks like competition is certain to get really strong in this industry, as Spaceship 2 is already completed and Virgin Atlantic has basically completed plans to start flying humans to space. For now, a seat aboard the spaceship costs about $250,000, so you should expect a seat on the new Shepard to cost about the same amount. And that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons, goodbye and remember to stay safe.